Here I have taken one question from chapter quadrilateral class 9th textbook NCRT. It says ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel to CD. As you can see here in the figure, we are given ABCD is a trapezium with its parallel sides AB and DC. Further, it's given that the non-parallel sides AD and BC are equal. So it's non-parallel sides that is AD and BC. Its lengths are equal. They are equal, not parallel. As you know, in a trapezium, one pair of opposite sides are parallel and here AB is parallel to CD. Further, it's an isosceles trapezium where the non-parallel sides are equal in length. Now, when we read this question further, it says that so that angle A is equal to angle B. Well, in order to prove uh, there are four parts of this, the very first thing that we do is a construction. And in the construction, through C, we'll be drawing a line, say CE parallel to AD. And that will meet when AB is produced to point E. That is what you need to draw, as well as you have to write in the construction part. That's what I have already written here. This is what you'll be writing, the part of the construction. Now, after that, we are going to prove this figure, that is this whole figure as a parallelogram. That is A, D, C, E. I'm going to prove this a parallelogram. You see, how can we prove this a parallelogram? For that, what we can write, that we can write A, E, is parallel to DC. As we already know, AB is parallel to, we already know AB is parallel to DC. So parts of parallel line are parallel. So we can write AB parallel to DC. Further, I can write AD as parallel to CE. And that is from the construction. That's from the construction, we can write AD parallel to CE. As you know, once we prove or we write two pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral parallel, it becomes a parallelogram. So we can write, therefore, A, D, C, E is a parallelogram. So this becomes a parallelogram. Now, once we prove this figure a parallelogram, we can write their opposite sides equal. That means we can write the length of A, D is equal to CE and that is from the reason you can write down from the opposite sides of parallelogram. Now, when we read this question, we know that AD is equal to AD is equal to BC. That's given. Once again, what we proved here first is AD is equal to BC. Sorry, AD is equal to CE. Moreover, AD is also equal to BC. So as you know, two th things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. I repeat, AD is equal to BC that is given and AD is equal to CE. We proved, therefore we can write this BC is equal to CE. So we'll be writing that, but, but we know AD is equal to BC and that is given. So therefore, from these two, let's say for from this equation one and two, what we can say that BC is equal to CE. Now, once we prove BC is equal to CE, let's say I proved BC is equal to CE. As you know that uh, in a triangle, if two sides are equal, we can write their opposite angles as equal. We can write this angle, this angle equal to this angle. So let me write down the name of this angle. Uh, let's say I can write this angle, say angle 1. So I can write angle 1 is equal to angle E. And the reason for that should be that is angles opposite to equal sides. Angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So that implies we can write here that is angle 1 is equal to angle E. And the reason for this, as I said, is angles opposite to equal sides. Now. Further, what we can say that that adjacent angles of parallelogram are supplementary. So we can write that is angle A plus angle E is equal to 180 degree and that is opposite angles of parallelogram or you may write 
co-interior angles. I repeat, not opposite, sorry, adjacent. Sorry, adjacent. Adjacent angles of parallelogram are supplementary. So their sum is 180 degree. So some of these two angles are 180 degree. Further, we are focused on two as we have to prove A is equal to B. So I can write that angle one plus angle two is also equal to 180 degree. Say this is equation three and this being four. What we see, the sum of both of them is 180. That means this plus this is also 180 and this plus this is 180. So I can equate, I can write angle A plus angle E is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. As you know that these two angle 1 and angle E are equal. You can see from here that angle 1 and angle E are equal. So we can cancel. We can cancel 1 with E can cancel angle 1 and angle E that they are because they are equal. So therefore, we can write angle A is equal to angle 2. Now, if you see angle 2 is nothing but the angle B before the construction. So we'll say that this is proved. We can write that implies angle A is equal to angle B. This is how we prove the first part of the sum. Now, once we have proved this, we can uh, proceed to the next part. But before that, I need to make some space here. Let's see. Now continuing with this question. Now I've made some space here to do the next part. In the next part, we have to prove angle C is equal to angle D. Now let's see. We have angle C and angle D to prove equal. This is angle C and angle D. We have to prove these two angles equal. And over here, we have already proved these two angles as equal. Now say, uh, this is angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree as they are co-interior angle. You should know that interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. And so is angle B plus angle C and the C here is angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. So from these two equation, from these two, we can say that their sum like A plus D is also 180 degree and B plus BCD is also 180 degree. So we can write that angle A plus angle D is equal to angle B plus angle BCD. And therefore, as you know, A and B are equal. So A and B gets canceled. Right. We have already proved angle A is equal to angle B. So we can write that angle D is equal to angle B, C, D. And that's how we prove the second part. So let's make space for the next part. Well, what we have to prove in the next part is two triangles congruent. And what are these? Let's say in the third part, we need to prove the two triangles that is ABC congruent to BAD. That means we need to join this. Join this. We say that we have to prove two triangles congruent and these are, that is ABC. ABC is this and the other triangle is BAD. That means this. So let's see, how can we prove these two triangles as congruent? So number one, I can see that we have proved angle A is equal to angle B and we have one common side AB. Further, the length of AD and BC are equal. So let's prove this. I'm writing in triangle ABD and B A. Sorry, it's ABC. So we can write in the way it's written as ABC and triangle BAD. We know that here the angle A is equal to angle B. That's proved above. And we have AD is equal to BC. That's given. And we also can write AB is equal to BA. And that is common. 
So once we do so, we can write these two triangles as congruent. I can write triangle ABC as congruent to triangle BAD. So that is by, this is congruent by SAS. So once the triangles become congruent, we can say we have done the third part. And let's see what we have to do in the fourth part. We have to prove AC is equal to BD. Now, we can write AC is equal to BD. That's from CPCT. That's how these four parts of this question can be done. 